Welcome back. Bullock Cart Workers Development Association was established in 1985 with the primary objective of rendering selfless, dedicated and human service to poor section of society. BWDA's NBFC arm offers market-oriented financial services and other Credit Plus services to improve financial inclusion and access for the low-income households, marginalized and unbanked. Take a look. Good evening, Ms. Alpina. Welcome to the show. So first of all, please tell us how Bauda Finance Limited was formed and what was the objective behind its inception. Bauda Finance Limited has its roots in its parent company, Bulakart Workers Development Association. Bulakart Workers Development Association was started by Dr. C. Jocelyn Thambi in 1985 and was registered in 1986. Initially, the parent company Bauda did a lot of uh, development activities and at one point of time, we started forming self-help groups. This was in 1992 and in 1999, Bauda started its own microfinance program with support of RMK. Eventually, in 2003, to streamline the financial inclusion operations into a separate entity, the NBFC MFI was acquired and BFL started it op its operations. What have been the major achievements from its inception? We've been working at the grassroots level since 1985. Bauda Finance Limited till date has uh, serviced over 15 lakh beneficiaries and has provided credit linkage of over 1,500 crores to our beneficiaries. We believe that the holistic empowerment of the beneficiary is the key. We work with them on water and sanitation, health, education, capacity building, women empowerment, senior citizen welfare, and a lot of other uh, areas. Bauda's work has benefited over 5.6 million beneficiaries. What are the major services provided by Bauda Finance Limited to the economically weaker section of the society? Bauda Finance Limited primarily offers financial inclusion services. So in terms of our credit products, we have uh, group products as well as individual products. It's all primarily market-led solutions. Uh, we also offer water credit which is primarily for uh, development of water and sanitation infrastructure. Bauda Finance Limited has initiated this unique program for widows and destitute welfare. Through this program we provide capacity building and also credit so that they can set up their own livelihoods and live a respectable life. Please tell us about the various partners you work with. We have two institutional investors. One is SIDBI, Small Industries Development Bank of India, and the other is uh, Dia Vikas, which is the Indian subsidiary of uh, Opportunity International Australia. We work with over 30 financial institutions and um, ranging from public sector banks to development entities to other uh, financial institutions. We've been working with water.org for the past five years for creation of water and sanitation infrastructure. Our most recent partnership was with State Bank of India and we've become their first uh, business associate in the state of Tamil Nadu. Vanakan sir, in our pair Rajeshwari, Delhi we are going to contact you. Sir, this is the most important thing we are going to do. The most important thing As you know, with the fast growing population, there is a still, there is still a lot more that we can do. There are newer areas that we would like to work with. Uh, climate change, smart agriculture, these are areas which will enable our beneficiaries to create resilient livelihoods and a better future for themselves. We are looking forward to catering to many more beneficiaries in the years to come. Thank you so much, Ms. Alpina, for coming to the show. Thank you very much. You're welcome. With this, we come to the end of this episode. I'll be back next week with the success stories of few other SMEs. Till then, goodbye and take care.